Well, this is Pastor Rick, and I want to welcome you to our second Lenten devotion of this season, 2024. Our topic is Little Laments When Our Private Laments Go Public, which is often what happens, right? We can't keep them private. How do we turn even our public complaints into public prayer? We're going to take a look at Psalm 42, but before we do, we want to hear from our choir as they sing, My Life Flows On in Endless Song. Please enjoy the choir. very much into our topic when our laments well we can't control them our private laments become public let me read from Psalm 42 I won't read the whole psalm but I encourage you to do that at home because these are all tools to help you turn your complaints into prayer this famous psalm begins as a deer longs for flowing streams so my soul longs for you O god my soul thirsts for god for the living god when shall i come and behold the face of god my tears have been my food day and night while people say to me continually where is your god these things i remember as i pour out my soul Oh, this song has such a deep feeling to it. He talks about, from deep I call to you, O Lord. This private anguish is really heart-wrenching when you read the psalm. And yet, at the same time, he longs for God, he says, like a deer looking, going down to the water to get a fresh drink. So what happens here in this psalm is some of the private laments are so deep and so troubling, well, they go public. And isn't that our experience at home? Sometimes people just can tell. They look at our demeanor. They can see our eyes are sunken. And sometimes we just can't help ourselves, right? And we complain. The things that are happening to us privately just spill out and everyone in our family knows. All our friends know and even those at work. And so here, he recognizes a certain 
public humiliation, even a spiritual humiliation, because the psalmist says, people look at me and they say, well, where is your God? They might even be saying, where is your spirituality? I know you go to church. Where's your strength? Where's your character? And so here we are invited in this psalm into once again turning our private complaints into public prayers where the things that we do quietly in our prayer closet also become public and here once again we are encouraged to remember God's faithfulness as it says in the psalm for God you are our rock you are where we get our security and that security, again, is not only going to give you strength for the day and the week, but the psalmist suggests also that people around you, the people that you love, maybe even your enemies, will notice what God has done for you. Once again, may God bless you as you turn your private and public complaints into private and public prayer. May God bless you this week and all through the Lenten season. Bye-bye now.